Welcome yet again to my Pimo Lums Level Solving Commentary video series. And today we're going to continue with the second half of the Windy Rank. Uh, but before we do so, uh, there's still a couple of things that I would like to announce here. And that is, um, yeah, Pew recently comment, commented on my uh, latest video of the series. And um, yeah, he asked if I just stayed in Paris at the time I visited France. And uh, yes, um, I pretty much was in that city most of the time, and um, I think I was pretty close to Versailles at one point. But the one thing, and I don't know how it happened, <laughs> that I totally forgot to mention is that I got the chance to visit the uh, famous Louvre uh, Museum, which, you know, uh, houses the, um, the iconic, wait for it, Mona Lisa uh, painting. But uh, I'll be frank, and that is, uh, I was actually quite disappointed uh, when I saw the actual painting in person because. Um, before I, uh, um, before that happened, I actually imagined the painting to be pretty huge, yeah, colossal. But um, when it wasn't as big as I thought it would be, yeah, I was actually quite disappointed. Yeah, but before then, I only saw photos of it in books and media. But uh, yeah, it's quite a, a disappointment to um, that the Mona Lisa painting isn't as huge as you might think. But um, yeah, just a just a warning for all of you, for those of you guys. Who have yet to visit the Louvre, but um, uh, see the Mona Lisa and painting, uh, painting in person. Yeah, do not expect it to be huge because, um, yeah, it isn't. Um, but yes, um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say there. Um, oh yes, and then the other thing was that, um, yeah, Windy Two. Yeah, I um, I thought the level title was was referring to Classic Two from Lemmings Two because. Um, I did have a quick look at it uh, after I finished recording that video, and uh, yeah, uh, the solutions are quite similar to one another. Yeah, the only difference is that they are simply flipped um, the other way around. So rather than going up uh, one side of the low, yeah, uh, the level in Lemmings Two have you go up the uh, on the other side. But uh, pretty much the um, all the core ideas are the same. Yeah, just uh, come down from the other side. Yeah, build it and mind the crowd out. And, uh, um, so yes, um, but, uh, apparently that's not what, um, the low tide was referring to. It was simply referring to how, like, um, basically a worker lemming goes out and, uh, basically just come, comes back to where he was before and stuff. Yeah, at least that's what, uh, Pew has been telling me. But, um, in any case, yeah, I just thought it, maybe it was just coincidence that, uh, Winnie 2, uh, solutions just happens to be... Mostly similar to the Lemmings 2 level that I showed them. Or, or, or the link that I've, um, to the level that I showed them. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today we're continuing with the second half of the Windy Rank. And, um, uh, as you might have noticed, yeah, even before the halfway point of the Windy Rank, yeah, the pack already stops playing around by pretty much tightening up the uh, save requirements and, um, just like less freedom in, uh, carving out the solutions you want. But st there's still plenty of skills available. Um, so that, uh, you still have some degrees of freedom, yeah, to, uh, make your own solution. But, um, yeah, uh, another thing as you might have saw is that, uh, there are also some, uh, iconic levels, um, showing some really neat, um, uh, tricks as well. Such as the, uh, digger pasture staircase and the builder wall and the, um, oh, what's the other one? Oh, and, uh, blocking and, no, not blocking, digging and blocking repeatedly so that you can, inch ever so closer to the other side of the wall until you break through. So, uh, pretty much, like, um, um, it's very likely that um, those um, showcasing those tricks, it's very likely that Pimo Nuns is the very first pack that you will encounter such um, ones, but um, there is a possibility that you might encounter them in uh, other packs as well. At least I know for myself, yeah, I've encountered most of the um, tricks that are now considered standard yeah, in Mausu Lamps. Which is a pack that I played before Dove Lems and Pimo Lems for uh, Lemon Eye. And so, yeah, I would have to say that uh, most of the tricks I learned from Mouse Lems first. And then uh, I later learned some more, some more of them in uh, Pio's pack, Pimo Lems. So, yes, uh, that's pretty much what makes these packs very iconic and um, very highly regarded, even, for, um, even by today. So, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get started now. So next up, we have Windy 11, from pillar to post. 
So yeah, there are a couple of bomber pickups here, and as I, um, you might have guessed, um, they are simply for uh, background prevention. And I'll be frank here, um, this actually took me about five minutes before I solved it, because like, quite honestly, I couldn't like, remember how to solve this level for some time, until I re realized, oh yes, it's just this. So yeah, there's just some tricky like uh, timing needed here. So after four lemmings out, yeah, I go ahead and max out the release rate. So the trick here is this. Basically, you want the bomb at the edge of the steel, or uh, right close to the steel, so that it makes this impassable wall, so that everyone just turns around. And then, with one of the last lemmings in the um, uh, crowd here... No, not yet, okay. Okay, so we pick up the bomb and pick up, yeah, and then we do the exact same thing on this side. Yeah, bomb in such a way so that it makes it an impossible wall, so nobody um, steps out. Yeah, so they'll just turn around. So yeah, now it should be time. Yeah, with one of the last lemmings, yeah, I go ahead and um, dig down when he's facing to the left. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's the third to last lemming that I do it with. So that everyone still uh, is able to take a detour. Yeah, the digger pit, fortunately, is still not uh, low enough so that these guys do not um, stay with the digger. So yes, by taking this detour, this worker dummy has enough time to uh, collect this bomb and pick up, and also to um, build to the um, exit before anyone arrives and gets into danger. And then same thing, yeah, bomb here so that it makes this impassable wall. Yeah, more than uh, more than a lot of leeway there. Yeah, so that no one splats. Yep. So as you can see, yeah, he finishes just in time before anyone arrives, and that's it. So a pretty nice level, but can also be pretty difficult. Yeah, if you're not aware of the um, of the way the bomber mechanics work uh, near steel and stuff. And this is just simply owing to the fact that in New Limix, you can never destroy steel. So it's a very handy trick that um, that can come in handy um, for if you need to like um, make a turnaround point. Uh, all you just need is a bomber to do so. Yeah, and it's a very quick way to do so as long as the uh, RR is not too high. Yeah, so that lemmings don't like get past while the bomber is still in the process of uh, unknowing and then exploding afterwards, uh, shortly after. Uh, Windy 12, break the ice. Let's go. Okay, so another two lemming level here. And then, of course, both of them get floaters, so that they survive to fall. The first one will build, yeah, so that he gets over the trap trigger. Yep. And then the one that slips by gets a climber. And the same thing with the builder. Okay, and at the top of the pillar, he's going to go ahead and dig down. So as a way to delay him, uh, in order to give the first slumming enough time to build over the gap. Yeah, I believe it takes three builders. Yes, three builders. And then... After the digger has gone for quite a while, then I start to um, have him build. Okay, and then, upon reaching the pillar here, I go ahead and bash. Okay, and then at the extreme edge here, I go ahead and build. Okay, giving the other dummy enough time to um, climb up before he gets blocked by the uh, builder staircase. But even then, I think he will still be able to climb past that. Yeah, I'm not sure though. But in any case, yeah, the builder turns around to give the other climber enough time to build to the exit. Oh, and I just realized, you know, this is a pretty nice uh, stick figure with the arms going in opposite directions. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not too tight. Okay, yeah, and he does not turn around. Uh, Windy 13, up the apicus. Okay, so this one was uh, recently background patched. Yeah, I guess my solution uh, just um, wasn't correct. Because originally, I simply just built my way up yeah, in the starting area here. So that I just pretty much reached this side and then just kept working my way up. So to block that route, um, some flamethrowers were added in it. So now I had to find a completely different way to get through the apicus here. So I built to get over this wall here. 
Okay, bash on through. Uh, yes, I just have very brave turn around at the very far end. Okay, and then I start building my way up. Yeah, and then when turning back to the right, I go ahead and bash. Yeah, so that there's enough of a gap here so that we can just build up with just one builder. And the same thing, just hit the far end and then turn around. Okay, and then start building up again. So now we get up here. Okay, one more builder. So that we get into this tiny hole here. Okay, same thing. Bash when he is facing to the right. And then build up with just one builder. So this raises the wall so that nobody can uh, follow him. Which is perfectly fine. Um, and it doesn't really matter if they did anyway. If they were able to follow him. Okay, and then I start building up. Not sure why it took me a while before I started building again. Okay, and then same thing. Yeah, get up in the hole and then bash when he's facing to the right and then build. Yeah, and then build to the left again. So this essentially just repeats until we get to the um, top. So here, uh, bash and then quickly cancel him bit stroke with a builder. Okay, creating this nice staircase that we can step up. And then again, when facing to the right, bash. And then uh, build up again. Oh yeah, he hits his head and then so we have to build again. Okay, and then bash on through. Yeah, this fortunately can be done with just one basher. Yeah, and then I think I just used the far end here. Yes. So build up. Okay, more time skipping here. It's going to take a while. Okay, and then, yeah, upon stepping up, facing to the left, we bash, and then we build. Yeah, and then we just build until we uh, get up through the uh, ceiling there. Uh, okay, so right here, I'm close enough to the uh, bead here, so that I bash, and then cancel him mid-stroke. And then, that's it, yeah. And then finally, I just uh, build to release the crowd, and that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, what did I do? Oh, that... Apparently that was high enough to block them as well. So one more builder here. And that's it. So yeah. So even though my solution is still pretty different from Nintendo, I think. At least I think it's different. It's pretty different from Nintendo. I think this might be acceptable though. I'm still not entirely sure. Uh Windy 14, the landings. The land ah, blah, 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 the landing strip. Boy, <laughs> I can barely talk, and um, it's only been about an hour and a half since I've been up. Okay, uh, I believe this was recently back while patched as well. Yeah, it mustn't have been because um, I had two replays here. So, for what I understand, this trap was added. You had to block the solution I had before. So, yes, we... I've uh, recently um, had a look at the Lemonite version as well, and yeah, this version this version is very, very different. But one thing, in Lemonite, I believe you start with the lowest release rate of 1, but here we have a release rate of 95, so a pretty high one. So therefore, Lemons are very close to one another. So, the, sol the solution works out as follows. So, while the Lemon is falling, we go in and bomb. When you do this, uh, the bomber does not, or rather, the Lemon does not go into the into the oh no animation. Instead, he simply exposed right away. Okay, and this is possible because in Neo Lemmix, yeah, bombers are untimed. Yeah, you you do not need to time the bombers so that, that they explode in the correct place when the bomber um, timer expires. Yeah, and then I go ahead and make the second Lemmix a climber. Yeah, and then another climber, uh, a little uh, farther out from the uh, first one. Okay, and then here, I go ahead and build into the area so that uh, he turns around. And then we go ahead and build again. So this uh, basically seals off the way to go back to the right. So that they don't walk into the trap. Okay, so the climbers in the meantime will go over. And then I go ahead and mine with the first one. And then by this point, the minor tunnel is deep enough so that it turns the other climber around. Yeah, that's important because uh, we need to mine the crowd out. Yeah, and that's what the other miner is for. And then that's pretty much it. So really, uh, this part is pretty difficult, but um, you just simply need to use the, the fact that uh, ballers do not um, 
aren't delayed with an oh no animation and will simply explode right away because of the fact that bombers are untimed in new in, yeah in new levels. Yeah, after that, the uh, although it gets a little bit easier, but um, yeah, I would say say that some parts are still not uh, too obvious at all, such as uh, building here to turn around and then to uh, see off the gap. That's necessary since um, the builder needs some time to uh, see off the gap. All right, alrighty, windy fifteen for the greater good. Okay, a pretty short level here, but um, as most things, yeah, just because the level is short doesn't necess doesn't necessarily mean the level will be easy though, because this one can still be pretty challenging. Uh, where is it? Right there. Yeah. So here you only have three skill types, but only two of each. Okay. So the first thing I do is build over the first gap here. And then the one that slips through and gets trapped in here, I make him a climber. Yeah, fortunately there is a gap here so that he can release himself. Okay, and then I dig at the very, or not not at the very edge, but uh, yeah, near the right edge of the pillar. Okay, and then once he's low enough, I go ahead and build. Yeah, fortunately this is still low enough so that Lemmings can still step up and walk to the exit. But he needs to, he needs to turn around. Okay, and then at the top of this pillar here, I simply dig down. And then by this point, yeah, he will get low enough so that the others can step up. And everyone will make it in time before they get trapped. Yeah, so really in here, we only lose the digger, and that's it. Then, once all lemmings have exited, I simply start their nuke. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So here, a climber, a climber, um, a climber to spare. Yeah, and we even managed to finish under a minute as well. Okay, Windy 16. Try to compromise before you queue. Let's go. Okay, uh, this one can be a pretty challenging level. But really, uh, it just simply involves knowing about, like, assigning skills yeah, inside a digger pit to another lemon, not necessarily the digger himself. So. First lemming here would dig. Yeah, so that nobody walks out to the right here. Over here, we just simply let them fall down and block. Okay, so the key here is this. Uh, well, when the digger is low enough, then I go ahead and use another lemming inside the digger pit to bash to the left. Yeah, who will release the uh, crowd over here. Yeah, and it has to be uh, done at a pretty specific time. Yeah, so that these lemmings can step up into that bash tunnel. Yeah. Do it too early and the wall will still be too high for them. So you have to do it at the right spot so that um, Lemmings can step up into the bash tunnel. And you can bash to the left without getting interrupted. Yeah, so this releases this crowd as well. Okay, and then we simply block before we get into the traps here. Okay, and that's already it. So, as you can see, yeah, this was done at a good enough spot so that Lemmings can step up into the tunnel. Yeah, and then the other basher made a hole so that uh, Lemmings can drop into the exit area. Okay, and that's it. So, uh, just nuke the blockers now. So, another pretty nice low here. So, yeah, it's not too hard of a low. You just simply, simply need to realize how you're going to get to the exit with the um, skills given to you. Uh, Windy 70. X marks nothing. Just really a little showcasing um, how to extend a basher with um, uh, builders. Alrighty, so I set up the first lemming as a climber, and then I simply make a um, builder wall here. Although it would have been easier to simply see off the gap here with a builder. Yeah, so that you have more builders available. Okay, and then give him a floater. Okay, and then build. Go we'll turn around. Yeah, I build her first, okay.
So, in need of that mix, yeah, one builder is actually enough for these gaps, so that it keeps the basher going. And it's really due to the fact that the basher is far more sensitive in Neo Linux. Yeah, I guess the developers of the engine decided um, on how the basher checks will work. But in Lemonai, however, as, I, as far as I understand it, I tried the exact same thing. Yeah, it doesn't work as well. Yeah, because most often the basher will stop Yeah, after just one builder staircase. And so that's the reason for the multiple builders you are given. Yeah, so to help the basher keep going. And as a matter of fact, I, sad thing to say, I don't think a safe all solution is possible. But I could be remembering wrong there because I could have sworn I did manage to save all there. Yeah, I think I simply built to see all the gap at the far left there. Yeah, because once again, one builder staircase is not enough. Yeah, for lemon eye. Yeah, the basher will often stop. Yeah, and then here I just simply cancel my stroke with a uh, builder, and that's it. Oh yes, and then yeah. This build wall is thick enough so the climber does not get past it. Yeah, interestingly enough, I recently had a look at the uh, at the Amiga version of Lemmings, and yeah, uh, the climber will still get past it. So apparently, the um, climber checks would are different on that engine, I guess. Uh, Windy eighteen underground water storage. Okay, so one of everything skill set here, and you have a 99 release rate. Oh, hang on a second. One, two, three. Oh, no, no. So just two entrances there. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm not sure if there's like overlapping entrances, but but no. What you see is, is what, what you see, so. So yeah, this is a pretty difficult level due to the 99 release rate. But fortunately, it's also a pretty short level. Yeah, so I block before the trap here. And then pretty much with the last lemming here, I go ahead and dig. Yeah, while everyone's taking this detour, this gives the digger enough time to make a pit deep enough so that nobody walks out to the left here. Yeah, and then I go ahead and bash once, he, once he's low enough. And then with the last lemming here, I go ahead and mine at a spot so that when the miner releases the blocker, it is deep enough so that they neither don't walk into the trap. Okay, and then I simply build to stop the miner, and that's it. So, three skills left over here. Yeah, but as far as I understand, yeah, another solution that I saw, yeah, which I honestly couldn't believe that I somehow missed it, was that you can simply block underneath the entrance and then simply bash uh, to the right. Okay, and then with one of the last time he's going back to the left, yeah, you simply mine the blocker free and then go to stop. So that's another solution that you could use there. But this is, in essence, the exact same idea, just uh, the timing works a little differently. And I feel like there was something that I wanted to mention, but um, what it is I can't think of right now. Oh, yes. Um, it's important to note that there is some hidden water inside the terrain, though. Yeah, quite honestly, that took me a bit by surprise. Because, um, anyway, I totally forgot about it. Because, um, yeah, it's been a very long time since I played the level. And so it kind of makes me wonder, hmm, I wonder why that was left in. Yeah, because normally uh, I would think that um, um, if there's some hidden like liquid and stuff inside the terrain, yeah, then um, some um, thinking is needed to like make them visible. But uh, I guess that's um, it's just simply to preserve Pew's um, like design, I guess. But in any case, it, it's not too harmful, especially since we do have CPM and everything. Which with a click of a button, yeah, it simply reviews all where all the liquid and traps are hidden and stuff. Yeah, if there are any. Anyway, Windy 19, Miss, Miss Maze. Okay, this surprisingly tripped me up for quite a while here. Yeah, I believe it took me like a good 10 minutes or so before I finally got the low solved. And quite honestly, that's simply due to the extremely difficult to see where the basher is used. Okay, so you pretty much have a... Um, Mess of a maze on both sides here. But the thing to realize is that if you look at them carefully with your eyes and everything and follow the, uh, each path, 
yeah, pretty much the maze on the right, it's pretty much a complete red herring. Yeah, it is not used in the solution at all. Well, except one tiny part of it, but, um... Uh, one tiny part of it. Um... Okay, now I honestly have lost the point. Oh, oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah. There's pretty much only one smart part of it that is used, but for the most part, uh, a large part of it is, like, not used. And so, instead, the answer is to use the maze on the left. So, we send up a climber going to the left, then. Yeah, and the critical basher assignment is right here. Yeah, so that you get over here. Because essentially, if you did not bash that, then essentially what will happen is that this, this will happen. Go through here, and then he'll spot here. And then, even you build over, yeah, then he'll turn around, and then fall down and spot here. So, the answer is to bash right here, which honestly is quite a difficult um, thing to realize. So, yes, uh, since he is dropping at a lower place, yeah, he survives this fall. Yeah, rather than if he fell up here, then he'll spot. Oh no, he actually survives. Okay, um, that's pretty interesting then. Um, so that means a, um, a builder is not necessary there then. Um, so in any case, yeah, if you just simply follow and then build. Oh yeah, but in any case, yeah, if you bash there, the, the, uh, you won't be able, be able to get the low solved. Because it's it does involve building to get past the exit. Yeah, so that you get over to this side. Yeah, and then, yeah, this is pretty much the only part, the uh, right maze that you are using. Yeah, because he steps up into this area here. But it is critical because you need to get right in between these uh, bars here to bomb in order to release the crowd and to get them to the exit. And that's it. So it's quite a nice level here, but it can be pretty confusing because of the uh, mini turns and everything in the mazes. And it's just simply realizing which maze is the correct one to use. Alrighty, and to round up Windy, Windy 20, nick of time. So, we have a time limit of two minutes here. But it's a pretty good though. Yeah, I really love the way the solution all comes together here. Uh, why do I have two solutions here? Oh, it must have been at a time when... um, The first solution must have been at a time when someone else was playing through this pack. Yeah, and really it was just a way for me... I was pretty much trying to help that person get the low solved or something. Because I think that user was stuck on the low. But uh, in any case, I believe both solutions work here. But I'm just going to load up the most recent replay. It's just been my practice of how I do these level solving commentaries. So yes, first lemming turns around and then we simply bash uh, with the second lemming. Yeah, another lemming will turn around. Um, that's critical. So the first lemming that reaches the gap here will build. And then I believe everyone else will uh, go on to the right. Uh, yes. So he finishes just in time before the other one arrives and turns around too. So the one that slips by will build. Yeah, one builder step is all that's needed to get uh, to the other side. And then you have to max out the release rate, otherwise you you run out of time. Okay, the second lemming that um, gets up to the pillar will bash, while the builder si simply turns around. Uh, the basher uh, becomes the climber. Okay, and then the builder that turns around, he'll bash through here. Okay, he gets a floater, and then we simply build to the exit with him. Yeah, we'll take some time and several builders. Here, uh, we drop down here and then build twice, so that he turns around. Yeah, everyone in the meantime takes this long detour, and then turning up the steel block, and then going back to, uh, in the direction of the exit. Okay, and then we need to build over the gap here. Yeah, takes one builder. Okay, and then we bash on through. And, as you can see, everyone's coming, but the basher will finish in time. Yeah, just in the nick of time. And this builder also finishes in time as well. Yep, long before the others arrive. So yes, just a very beautiful solution here, in which uh, it all works out. Yeah, all the timing and everything works out here. And we finish with 12 seconds to spare. And a bit of a history on this low, and that is, this was originally one of the lows that I couldn't solve as well back in the days. And so I ended up skipping this one, and then um, I pretty much um, did um, most of the... Um, is it Stormy? Yeah, I think it's the Stormy rank. Yeah, and then before I got stuck on the rank finisher for that one as well. And then I skip ahead to Hurricane, and then got stuck on Hurricane 3. And then, I guess I got frustrated by that, and, um, yeah, I, uh, 
wage quit and didn't come back to the pack for a couple of years. And then once I did come back, yeah, then I believe I've um I don't remember if I was able to solve both the rank finisher for Windy and Stormy before I did the one for Hurricane Three. But uh in any case, yeah. Once I did come back to the pack, yeah, I saw those those levels and the rest of the pack as well. Um uh, but yes, um quite honestly I don't know why I um why I ended, I ended up skipping up this low. Especially since the solution isn't really that complicated at all. Yeah, it just simply involves knowing who you need to turn around and everything and who needs to like take a long detour. Yeah, and then if you do the solu solution correctly, then the timing will all work out. Yeah, and it's just so beautiful when the solution comes together. Okay, so with the completion of the Windy rank, that brings us to the third rank, which is Stormy. So that will be covered... I will start covering that in the next video. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of the uh, Pimo Lums Level Solving Commentary video series, and I'll see you all for the next one.